I'm, I'm questioned all the time whether I'm, I'm an artist, a designer, a businessman, a marketing dude or whatever. I love bringing uh, levels of, of functionality to artistic pieces or bringing some of those more existential and symbolic uh, elements of the arts into a functional product within design. They just blend together for me and make me happy. I don't know anyone who thinks New York is easy. There's such a competition that you need to prove yourself constantly. It's about forcing your work to be at the right time and at the right place every single day. And that means that you've got to take a high risk. And you've got to have the balls, trust your talent, trust all the hard work you put into it, and, and just go for it. I never wanted to work for anyone from the beginning. I don't know if I have a problem with authority or, or I was a rebellious kid. I also just understood or believed I could bring some interesting things to the table. And I would rather those ideas I was bringing were under my name than under someone else's name, even if that meant that I would have uh, economic instability for a long time it's just it's just been stamina I've uh, been trying to sleep tossing and turning around in my bed knowing that I've got one month of money left to pay rent and stuff and I haven't sold anything and you just don't know what to do and I've been lucky enough that something has happened there's nothing I could say, hey, you've got to do A, B, or C. You can just work your ass off, compete with everything you have, do the best you can, and hang in there tight. That's very hard. It's very hard emotionally. It's very hard energy. It's, it's hard on your bank account and so on. Um, as a Latin designer, my background is very helpful coming here to New York. I think we have one advantage, which is that being Latin people, we're much more family oriented and we tend to integrate everything. So the design solutions that we come up with for our clients tend to be integral design solutions where we're not only thinking of uh, solving an issue of functionality, but we're also really putting ourselves in our client's position and we're trying to feel how they would feel. Of course, we have a, a lot of uh, faults and, and problems too, but um, I think Latin um, professionals within the arts and design have that extra sensibility and that integrated way of seeing things that allows us to have uh, some sort of an extra handicap here that works for us. I, I do consider myself successful. I've been chosen several times Chilean Designer of the Year. I get to show with the most successful architects and designers of the world. But I'm not there yet. I'm still only starting and beginning the race in, in, in a more macro term. I would like to continue having this uprising curve where um, at 50 I can continue to say I'm doing the best work I can and hopefully I'm, I'm continuing to be one of the best.